All right, and we're live. Excellent, excellent. Well, everyone knows what time it is. Legends box break time. Let me get my other camera rolling. I am running a second camera just for safety. In case anything should happen to the internet, to my phone, connectivity, anything like that. All right, let's grab some packs to open. Let's see a couple things here. All right, good evening. Hey guys, hey Matt, hey everyone joining. Welcome, we'll open a couple packs here while we wait. Wanna make sure everyone gets in. Plenty of time before we start the good stuff. All right, a little Modern Master in 2017. Let's get through all these commons. All right, Arcane Sanctum, Harmonize, Marsh. Oh crap! Well, hey, that's a pretty good hit if you're going to open Modern Masters uh, 2017. So. A little foil common there, but we pulled a fetch land, and uh, very cool. All right, well, that's a, hey, good start. Maybe someone's going to get a tabernacle in all these packs. I mean, someone's almost certainly going to get a tabernacle. Is it only coming through as 432? It's streaming through Facebook, so it could be dependent on um, your connection, too. So I've got a second camera also recording. So 11 people joining. Excellent. Let's open a couple more packs. Go back in time a little bit. We'll do some uh, Odyssey. Oh man, so much better. Look at these. Hey Keith, welcome. Love these old border cards. Rights of Refusal. Just beautiful. Oh, I love the art. Rebecca's art has always been great. Autographed. How's the video quality for everyone? Is everyone having issues with video quality right now? Before we get into the box, time stretch is our rare. We'll do a couple packs as, as we open, just uh, kind of shout out how the video quality is for everybody, please. Yeah, my Wi Fi is looking good. So. Good, thanks Matt, looks good. Okay, okay, great. All right, let's go back to Guild Pact. Go through some stuff. All right, excellent. The Gruel Turf, Train of Thought, Restless Bones. Chase, Jason, excellent. All right, let's get our Uncommon Sin, Sin Strikers Will. Not gonna pronounce it. Conjurer's Ban and the Giant Solifuge. Okay. Close up of the sign on sheet. Yep. Sign up sheet. Right there for everybody. All right, last pack, then we'll get started. 14 people joining this one. Shout out to Saint over at Honey Baby Card Shop. He throws these in on every purchase you make, so you always get a chance to pull something a little extra. Let's see what we get from our Double Masters pack. Skip through these commons, or spell bombs, or brainstorm. At least it's a playable card. Hinder. Glass Dust Colt. Oh, well. Thank you, Saint. That is uh, an another excellent pull. Wow. We're having some good luck tonight. Walking Ballista. Mythic and a rare. Oh, yeah. Double Masters. Two Mythics. Rares. Double Foils. Very cool. Great pulls. All right. Let me get some of my garbage out of the way here. All right, let's get on to the show. 
As always, the way we proceed is I'm going to go on to random.org. We're going to pull a number from 1 to 36. That number determines where we start on this list. And I just threw it on the floor. Oh, so professional. All right, so the number we get determines where we start on the list. So let's say it's 12. And then that means Keith gets the first pack in the box. We're going to go left to right all the way down there. And uh, yeah, so that's how it's going to go. Let's see what what we're starting at. So we're doing 1 to 36. Let's gener get our numbers. Get number. 12. We're starting it. Okay, that's... I'm going to do it two more times because that's way too coincidental and people will think it's shady. All right, again, we're going to do it two more times. 35, last time. This is going to be the official number. Three. Okay, we're starting on three. All right. Pack three goes. So the first pack is going to go to Tom. And we're going to work our way down the list here. So pack one, starting with Tom. We're going to go all the way down there. What a beautiful box. This one is so pretty. I'm gonna do something a little different with this box. Um, I'm gonna try to keep the wrapper more intact. And it's not like you could use it to reseal because I'm gonna be cutting in places that you would never cut if you're gonna reseal. But I wanna kinda of keep that wrapper look here. Oh my goodness, legends, here we go. Can't believe it's finally time to do a set like this. I hope everyone gets beautiful booster packs. If you open it, please, please take a video. Let us know what you got. Let us all enjoy. Look at this and this fun. Unbelievable. Thirty to forty thousand dollars right now in the open market for these boxes. Quickly going over that. There we go. Look at those booster packs, everybody. Oh my, that is beautiful. Here we go. Okay, pack one. Get our little security labels. Let's get in here. Let me try to get this kind of bent out of the way a little bit. Let's do it just like an LGS. There we go. There we go. How's that? Okay. Let's get in here. Let's get these booster packs. Beautiful. Beautiful packs. A little crunched on the top. Sometimes that happens. Depending on how the case is stored, um, you know, these are kind of these aren't stored flat in cases um, on these really old boxes. They're stored on their sides, and so then if you set the case down on the wrong side, you kind of tip the packs over a bit. So there we go. Pack one. Fantastic. Pull up a chair here. Uh, a little more comfortable. Okay. go let's see make sure everything's still on camera pack two coming up this one going to Jason all these little tabs are tricky The box is spoken for, unfortunately. The box will definitely be uh, be sticking around for a bit. Um, yeah, we we might do something with it later on, but for now, yeah, I'm just gonna hang out with it. Maybe I'll put it on my nightstand. Dream about it. Legends is a pretty incredible set right now. This is, um, I would say, numbers-wise, the most 
valuable set out there, dollar for dollar. Um, the set value is, someone might have to look it up, like about $20,000, I think, for a complete set of Legends. And, uh, you know, that's about 30, you know, to 50% of the box value. And, uh, no, I mean, about 50 to 60% of the box value, it, which is really high. I mean, next highest is revised, which is about 20%. Um, just an extremely valuable set right now. Really, um, yeah, as Neil's saying, very, a lot of valuable rares and like really valuable rares, especially if you get a, a tabernacle in a high grade. I mean, now that chains is $2,000 and, you know, abyss is probably close to $2,000, moats $1,000. They're just, just so many great iconic hits in this set. Um, if you're going to open a pack, Legends is the pack to do it. Now it's still kind of, you know, low expected value, but man, your ceiling is really high. And if you're not going to open it, this is, yeah, well, but, but the other side of that, Neil, Neil's saying that makes him want to open his pack. Uh, I would say that that's actually more of a sign that you should not open it because this set is due to continue to appreciate probably faster, I would think, than any other. Um, just that much value loaded into one set, you know, with the numbers being what they are. You know, if you compare that to like fourth edition, I mean, the set value is 9% of the box value. The set value on Legends is 60% of the box value. It's just not even close. Still on camera, yeah. All right, good. Pack five, Here we go. Pack six coming up. Beautiful, man. These are incredible. We did sell out. I would have been happy to keep one or two, but uh, you know, I want these to get out in the wild. Also, I'm working on a deal for another box of legends, just uh, just in case there's interest in a month or two, so we can. Maybe do one or two more boxes. Um, I mean, I don't think anyone's gonna get too tired of these. Robin, you need the need the nether void? All right, all right, I'll see which one feels like it's got a nether void in it. Send it your way. Yeah, Chains and Abyss in nine, that's, uh, those, are, those are nice cards, nice grades. Very, very cool, good collection. <clears throat> yeah, we gotta do Antiquities uh, before long. I've had a few, you know, it's kind of mixed. Several people asking, you know, hey, let's let's pump the brakes a little bit here. Pack six. Oh yeah, seven. Wait, where was I? Pack six, back over here. Alright. What else do I have coming up? Um, Portal Three Kingdoms is coming up. And maybe like Mercadian Mass. I want to throw some kind of mid-range. Um, boxes out just to you know give everyone's pocketbook a little bit of a rest so we might do like mercadian mass um portal three kingdoms not like super cheap but uh also it might be a fun set to do yeah pump the brakes okay yeah i, I, and I hear that a lot so antiquities you know these boxes they'll, 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 they'll be around so we'll get to it we'll do some other fun stuff uh, maybe like an urza saga um, looking to get picking up a couple boxes of those. So we'll see. We got we got some fun stuff coming up though. Um, time uh, not time spiral. Uh, yeah. Um, oh my goodness! I'm drawing a blank. The uh, original Tarmogoyf. What am I thinking of? All right. Well, I can't. I can't think. It's late at night, but. Um, Mirage, I've got Mirage uh, starter decks. Would you like to do a Mirage starter deck break? Um, I could do that. I, I can do Stronghold too. Whatever. Maybe, maybe we'll have a poll. Uh, Steve asked, how much am I selling these for? These went for eleven seventy-five a piece. Future Sight, thank you, Chase. Future Sight is, the, is one of the boxes I really want to do. So get those beautiful Horizon Canopy foils, Tarmogoyf, that, that cool uh, card design on Future Sight. Urza's, yeah, I'm gonna probably Legacy. I've got some Legacy I can get access to pretty easily. We do an Urza's Legacy break. Um, Urza's Saga is pretty difficult to get a hand on right now. I've got Urza's Saga starter bricks. We could do Urza's Saga starter, Mirage starter. I've got those right now. Um, 
we could even just, I mean, there's only 12 in each of those, so it's pretty easy to, uh, you know, if, if a handful of people want in, we can just run one of those real quick. Um, unglued, unglued would be cool. I don't have any unglued, but I mean, I can always get it. are pretty. These are just beautiful. I, you know, I've always loved the blue. The pink on Arabian Nights is great. Um, I feel like Antiquities is a little bland with the gray, but I think Legends and Fallen Empires are some of the best looking boxes and packs. Pack 11. Ooh, it's getting warm in my office. It's been kind of hot out here in Boise. You sold a bunch of revised to have cash flow for antiquities. That sounds that sounds like a plan. Pack eleven. Antiquities, Arabian Nights, Mirage Stronghold to complete your collection. Yeah, man, I really wanted to do Arabian Nights. Um, you know, I know where a couple boxes are, but those things are like three hundred thousand dollars now. No one wants to sell them. Oh, another revised break. Revised break would be awesome. Yeah, we do another revised break. Eleven. This is pack twelve. Oh, you know what? I just noticed on these two. These don't have the slits on the seals. So this is actually going to be a better than normal box for grading. I don't know, like a pack like this, you know, you don't want to send that to PSA. Um, but some of these packs where it doesn't quite have the firm crease right here on the top, not having the slits in the seal is definitely a good thing when you, if you're going to send these off for grading. Um, some of you selected to send these off for grading. So as I get ready to ship, we'll take a close look at the pack. Make sure that's still what you want to do. Make sure everything looks good. Um, and, and then, you know, I'll go ahead and ship those off for you. And in a year, you'll get your pack back. All right, let's see, pack 12, so we're back over here to 13. Packing them up here. the camera opening them on your deathbed I yeah I mean go ahead I mean, get some enjoyment out of it make sure your kids know what they're worth and grandkids 13 14 plugging away here almost halfway through the box no rush it's legends this doesn't happen very often Just enjoy it. Legends booster packs. Make sure my the camera's still running. Yep, excellent. So I will post the links in Dropbox for both um, videos. There's there's a camera over here on the right running, facing at a different angle, and then there's my main camera here, grabbing these so that. Uh, you know, I did this with, with such an expensive box, you know, I was worried, hey, what if my phone, you know, catches fire? It's a Samsung. It's happened before, right? Um, you know, what if the internet goes out, I don't want to, you know, have any sort of issues with a, uh, you know, $40,000 box break. So got a second camera running it on the side offline. It'll just, you know, whoops. it would just be a situation where the, um, you know, if my phone went out or internet service went out. I just upload the complete video afterwards from the standby camera so running some contingency plans here trying to get more professional with every break Fifteen, sixteen. I 
I noticed Open Boosters started doing some box breaks. And it was a little rough, <laughs> but um, you know, obviously that guy has some incredible boxes. So if he starts digging deep, you know, he did revise and dark, but if he starts going, you know, Beta Arabian Nights, I'm, I'm gonna have to join his patron and <laughs> get in on those. But he's got to refine his process a little bit. That first first couple, yeah, reminded me of my my first first breaks. We're not as clean as I would have liked them to be. This one the corner folded over a little bit, so I'm just gonna get that corner set. Uh, the corner's bending a little bit just naturally. Not much I'm gonna be able to do about that. There we go. Need to get another camera set up. Oh, that's right. Matt's Matt's saying he just announced a hiatus, so yeah, it might be a little bit of time before another he does another box break, but I'm sure he'll be back. Keith, what number were you? You were um Keith, 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 Keith. Keith, 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 Keith. Um, you should have been, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You should have been pack eight, Keith. Oh, he explained, he, so so Jason's in, in chat saying that he explained it wasn't worth it. It was too much work doing the box breaks. Um, yeah, you know, for a guy like that where you've got, I mean, millions of dollars, of product with zero cost basis basically you know he's been in it since the beginning he's got an alpha starter brick i wouldn't be doing box breaks i mean i do this because i wasn't in it in the beginning and i want to kind of have my hands on these and 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 you know i i can't open i can't afford to just open a legends pack because i've got one since 93 um you know these these legends packs you know cost me a considerable amount of money so i get to enjoy this with everybody but yeah I mean if I was him I probably wouldn't probably wouldn't want to break my product I've had for all those years either just sit back and enjoy the appreciation sell your alpha starter for 10 million so that was 18 so we're back over here for 19 I know a guy that just picked up a brick of unlimited starters, but it's in Europe. I would love to finagle something like that. There was a booster box, but it was in Europe also with COVID. And it's just not gonna. It's not gonna happen. So maybe something will come up. We can do an unlimited break or or something like that. I think uh, it'll be a while before I could bankroll Beta or Arabian Nights. They're both you know third of a million dollars. So. Pretty difficult to manage that type of cash. And no one wants to sell. And why would you right now with uh, everything just appreciating faster than you could uh, really ever have expected? All right, pack 21. So what's everyone's sentiments right now? I know stimulus checks are coming out. Um, is everyone kind of looking to keep investing in magic? Are you, you know, starting to think of capturing profits? I know for me, it's been a little bit of both. I, I've kind of wanted to move off of like um, some of my, you know, alliances, rares and stuff that have gone up, you know, four or five X and buy little more Alpha 40 staples and stuff like that, but curious what everyone else is, is kind of thinking in this market. All right, so that was 21, 22. Keith saying you're excited. Yeah, I mean, I, I feel the same way. Um, it feels like you can kind of cash in some. 
I really think there's two different classes of of cards in the game. Um, <clears throat> Neil, your, your stimulus is going straight to reserve list. Awesome. Yeah, man. I mean, that, that basically gets you two stimulus checks anymore. <laughs> putting them in, in reserve list, letting the, letting the cards double. Um, I was going to say something. Oh, yeah, cashing out. It definitely feels like you can cash out pretty safely on, on some of these non-staples um, stone calendar type things that have gone up or, or anything where you just feel like it's outpaced every other card. You know, maybe there's something that people have overlooked. Like honestly, alpha, I feel like alpha is the spot right now, maybe unlimited, unlimited probably too. Um, but man, alpha with the growth of alpha 40. And I think I talked about this last time too. I think, you know, chaos orbs, soul rings, stuff like that are really, really, um, sweet spots in the in the alpha market that, that should probably appreciate too and they have been but it, but a lot more has anyone watched the uh, alpha source to plowshares they're a thousand dollars a piece now that's pretty nuts Scoot these over just a bit. There we go. 23, 24. Neil, rebuilding your collection. Yeah, yeah, same here. Um, I mean, I sold out in 2010 when I got married. I'm actually going to make kind of a video about it because I've been thinking a lot about um, where I'm at right now and what we're doing in this group. Um, you know, these box breaks and I mean, I came back into magic in 2018 with, uh, really, I didn't have any, any cards at the time. I had sold everything, like I said, for a, about a grand in 2010 and, uh, started wanting to play magic again and just couldn't afford it. So started flipping collections from Goodwill and stuff, but Beta, Jason's mentioning beta's almost forgotten. You know, beta's just, yeah, it, it, it fits in a weird spot between alpha and unlimited. I think beta as a set looks better than alpha or unlimited. That Those deep colors, you know, some of those artifacts in beta, just, just like the IC that gets a little darker. It has Volcanic Island, which is nice. Um, if, you were, if I were to pick any set in near mint and money wasn't a factor, it would be beta. And uh, obviously, if I could just have any set, it'd be alpha because that's, I could then go buy like five beta sets. But yeah, beta doesn't get the attention. And beta is vulnerable to rebacking from IECE because that is based off of the beta um, print design. So th there is some vulnerability there. But yeah, I, I love beta. It's, it's, kind of, it's kind of close to alpha, though, I feel. I mean, you can you can spend five thousand dollars on a beta underground C that you can't play in Alpha Forty, or you can spend eight thousand dollars on an Alpha underground C that you can play in Alpha Forty. Yeah. So I don't know. And that beta soul rings are over a grand, and you can still get Alpha soul rings for. I mean, I bought one today for twelve hundred. Um, pack twenty six. So I don't know. I, I think the spread should be a little bit larger from Alpha to Beta right now, um, and I think that's going to be kind of the trend. I think. Beta is going to be, you know, 2x of unlimited, and alpha is going to be 5x of unlimited or something like that. I've got to wonder when we start thinking about a retracing, though, as, uh, I mean, every other buyout slash spike, appreciation spike, it, there's been retracement. You know, you can go on, like, MTG Goldfish and uh, kind of see where that's gone in the past. You know, you see 20, 30, 50% retracings over a couple years. And, uh, you know, I just wonder, like, you know, when's that going to happen? Is that going to be kind of hard and fast after the stimulus, if no more stimulus happens? Or are we just going to see inflation carry it up over the hill? Um, you bought a whole bunch of revised and beta before the bump? Yeah. 
yeah, it's uh, that that's that was a great great decision, Keith. And um, yeah, sealed product from here on out, it's gold. It's you can buy any sealed set older than RTR basically, and it's you might as well consider it reserve list because of the foils and everything. Um, really great investments there. Uh, Jason asks, is my unlimited set done upgrading? I've got my last piece of power coming in Monday. My ancestral recall will be the last piece of power to upgrade. And then I've got to get a chaos orb. I've got to get a few pieces. Some of my duels are a little bit, um, beat up and then like random things, you know, my mind twist, rot of ruin. I've got like a dozen items in there, but they're all lower end. So I'll probably just kind of sweep through. Um, you know, TCG player, you know, Card Kingdom or something one of these days and just pick those up, whatever I can find in near mint for the lower end stuff. And then, yeah, my unlimited set will be light play or better. And I'm, I'm pretty excited about that. At 29, oh my goodness. Two thirds of the way through. Bumping everything again. Kaladesh is crazy. I know. I had so many cases of Kaladesh, too. And uh, when we were getting ready to buy the house, I, I kind of liquidated a bunch of... Or actually, before that, before when we were moving out here, um, before we tried to buy the house, just for the move, I liquidated a bunch of Kaladesh. Definitely wish I had that back, but it made sense. I mean, Kaladesh is, uh, you know, a really high-reward set with the, you know, in, in uh, Masterpiece series in there. It's, it's pretty incredible. And I think Japanese War of the Spark will be the same way. Um, those fo foil alternate art um, planeswalkers are just just incredible. Tons of value in there. Um, so I think sealed cases of Japanese War of the Spark definitely going to be a big deal. 30. Uh, Keith, congratulations on the power. Thank you. I appreciate that. It's definitely fun to have a complete set of power. So very excited for that. Um, yeah, we knew Cop Kaladesh was going to go crazy. It was kind of surprising how crazy it went, though. But, yeah, it's, it's pretty awesome. Yeah, Keith, yeah, so two just over two years. Yeah, about three years, maybe, getting back. You know, no, yeah, two and a half years. Um, yeah, definitely, it's, it's the collection's bigger than it was ever at when I was a kid or right before I sold or anything like that. It's, um, you know, I never had any pieces of power when I was growing up. I had tons of dual lands and, um, you know, some, some ABU stuff, Library of Alexandria type stuff. And um, so, yeah, definitely kind of exceeded my goal originally of kind of making a business out of this um, just to fund rebuilding the, the cards I had in high school. And I've, I've achieved that and gone over that a ways. And now I'm just having fun. It's, it's, you know, playing with stuff I never, never expected to be able to, like sealed boxes of legends. So, yeah, it's just, uh, just a great time. All right, here we go. We're on to our last four packs. Little moment of silence. One last Legends box in the population. Again, if anyone opens these, please live stream it. Film it in my group. Whatever you want to do. I'd love to see it. I, I, I'd love to see these packs get opened. I was not able to keep any. And honestly, even if I did, I don't know if I'm brave enough to open one of these. I opened a few um, last year. And, and did really well. And, uh, you know, anytime you're, you're ahead, sometimes you should just stop. Do I feel a retrace on sealed product is less likely... Um, then in singles, oh, and Jason right before that. Uh, yeah, man, your, your unlimited set's coming along. Um, that's pretty incredible, too. Yeah, it's I can't wait to see some pictures when they're, uh, uh, well, the last year Power 9 or you know any of the other pieces you've got coming in. Love to see how, that's, how that turns out because it's such a fun set. And, um, you know, it's still relatively attainable. 
Uh, as far as sealed product, sealed product should be the most resilient against retracement because the cards have to fall first. Now, there's some difference. There's some exception here. Um, I would say like Urza's Legacy. Okay, those are $8,000 on eBay. And if, let's say, five people, let's say three people get, get in a bind and they happen to have a few boxes of Urza's Legacy each, those boxes are going to drop by 50%. And there's just not enough people that want to spend $8,000 on a box of Urza's Legacy or Destiny um, <clears throat> or $15,000 on, on a box of, uh, of Revised or Saga. So I think some of these that are priced out of 90% of people's reach, if, if there's a sense of urgency for selling, they, they, they'll drop fast and they'll drop a little bit. Um, but keep in mind, you know, they were $1,800 last summer for for legacy so even if it drops back to four grand as long as you didn't spend eight grand on it you're going to be all right now there's sets like legends um and even revised i think revised very unlikely to retrace any significant amount um because there's not that much but legends um alliances ice age i i don't think these sets are even done appreciating yet so i i think they'll you'll see them keep going wow well here we are that snuck up on me. That is the end of the box. That's legends for you, everybody. And uh, man, thanks everyone for making this possible. Let's see, we've got a couple more things in chat. Uh, Keith going after one of everything I break. I appreciate it. Yeah, had it take it to PSA, definitely. Um, a lot of eBay sellers popping up selling random boxes with one or two feedback. Yeah, definitely watch out. It, you know, there's so there's two things that happen with the eBay sellers with one or two feedback is. One, it's someone that's just not active in the community. They have some boxes from the 90s and, you know, okay, hey, I'm going to sell them because they're, you know, revised as it $15,000 or whatever. So that's going to happen a lot. And then, yeah, you're going to get some people trying to scam and, uh, you know, with, with, with high dollar stuff, you know, comes some shady business. So be safe, be careful out there with everything you do. Pay with a credit card um, if you don't have a have great... Uh, you know, reviews on the other person, great references, and uh, protect yourself. So, excellent. I'll get to packing these up this weekend. I should have everything shipped out Monday or Tuesday. As always, I'll send uh, tracking numbers out to everybody. And, uh, yeah, everyone should get these packs pretty soon. I think the uh, post office is catching up pretty well right now. Um, we had some pretty bad delays with the dark packs, but those have all shown up, and I think we're all set. So, once again, hey, thanks everybody. Um, you know, you all make this possible. Really enjoy it. And uh, yeah, we'll be in touch. Thanks everyone.